I have been interested in interiors as long as I can remember, really. Um, even as a kid, I loved to rearrange the furniture in my house. One of my favorite places were the period rooms in museums. I'd make a beeline for those and study all the details and imagine all kinds of royal dramas playing out there. They figured prominently in my imagination for a long time. And um, different themes and threads have interested me over time and, and changed slightly. And one theme I found popping up again and again was the representations of nature and the outside world being brought inside the home in various ways, um, often humorous ways. There's never people in the spaces, but they're certainly about people. And I started to think about the home as both this refuge from the outside world where we go to get away from it and are safe from it and sheltered from the elements, um, but also a sort of place to reinvent the outside world. So I really, I love photo books. I think it's a great way to look at photography. I collect photo books and I love to return to the same images again and again. I always find new things uh, in the images and so it's always been a dream to to make a book. Um, the process is really different, you know, when you're editing for an exhibition and you might show two or three or, you know, maybe 15 if it's a solo exhibition. Um, so you're not only working with a larger number of it, images, but um, I wanted there to sort of be chapters and breaks and of course play with the fact that two images could face each other and play off of each other. I started to find simulated aspects of nature. There's one with a, a living room with a, just a tree growing through the center of the room. Or another with all these house plants and the carpet in the room has a, a pattern of stones, almost like a patio brought inside. And I often include the window views as well. You know, I started thinking about how walls and windows protect us from the elements and, you know, the home is a safe haven from those sorts of things. And yet a window frame can also frame the view almost like a painting. There's these other times where paintings become like a window, you know, into the world. There's one with um, a landscape painting that's hung above a sofa and on the sofa is this throw with um, a deer on it and it's almost like the deer has kind of escaped from the painting. <laughs> And so I, I photographed a lot of these like wildlife patterns and things like that, but I started to think more explicitly about living with animals and sort of the psychology and repercussions of living with animals and the, the sort of peculiar status of pets themselves, that they're, you know, animals with predator prey instincts, you know, they are different from us and yet they are also members of the family and creatures of comfort. So, you know, I have a few images where animals are kind of taking possession of the space and oblivious to representations of their prey. You know, there's one with this cat sleeping on a sofa and this, you know, this bird by it, or there's one with a, a black lab who's a championship duck hunter, but then there's these duck lamps on either side of her. 